yesterday, it seems like we were kids playing dress up and pretending to be the Spice Girls. Well, actually, you were always up front and center, and me and Haley were always in the back room. <laughs> Just yesterday, it seems like we were teenagers and you were always on the go. We were always arguing about whose turn it was to drive to school and I was always fussing about you wearing my clothes. I was very proud you were my sister and wanted everybody to know even though it didn't seem like Stop crying. Don't make me cry. I don't think she gave me waterproof mascara. Sweet. No. Yeah. These are happy dears. He doesn't have any more bills to pay with me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you one thing, I'm very proud of how you become a man. And you've got a beautiful wife. Well, yesterday is gone and today is finally here. As I watched you walk down the aisle and stand beside John, I could have held and shed a few tears. I know he will be good to you, but it still makes me cry. In the past two years, John and Tiffany have learned to know and to love each other. Now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. But John and Tiffany believe that they did not meet by chance. They believe that God directed them to be in the same place at the same time, and that it was God's will that helped them to find each other. Today, John and Tiffany have been woven together by God as one in marriage. One man, one woman, and God. It is my honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Miss John Michael Kruger. modern enough to survive the times, but old-fashioned enough to last forever. So just let's try that again. Let's make some noise for the bride and groom, please. There you go. Sign still delivered, son. Sign still delivered. <laughs> How does it feel? I got 